First ball of the day, Sean Pollock to Adam Gilchrist. And just in the end, just wide of Hansi Cronier, Australia are away. Shepherd. Well, the first appeal of the day, Sean Pollock to Mark War going right across, but that one there probably going up over the top. David Shepherd not interested. It's got to be fairly close. Pollock to War. And there's a big appeal, and this time he's given him, so Mark War is out in the very first over. Australia three for one. Well, the very first wicket, a good shout, the ball before, and then Sean Pollock comes up with this one, a big in-swinging short delivery, just nicks the glove of Mark Wall, through to the keeper, and the first wicket's down. Australia one for three. New batsman is Ricky Ponting. And he's played that ball shot quite beautifully. Six. Great shot here from Ponting. Elworthy drops it in short. Ponting rocks back on the back foot, smashes it straight over square for six. And there he goes again, and he's got it away for four this time. That's not smart bowling. Even though they had the man back on this occasion, Ponting was expecting it, and he's put it away. And that's over the top, and will go all the way. Good shot in the end by Ponting. Lovely shot. On to anything short, Ricky Ponting. Elworthy to Gilchrist. Second of the day and the first to go first. Well, this is so beautifully timed by Adam Gilchrist. Just punched it over long on. Well, he knows these conditions well. Here's Alan Donald into Ponting. And a wicket first ball. Gary Kirsten with the catch, and Ponting goes for 37. Ponting's looked in excellent form out there. Just driving a bit early at this delivery. Straight to Kirsten, extra cover. He won't drop those. A delighted Alan Donald. What a start. His wicket with his first ball. Ricky Ponting's on his way for 37. Australia now 54 for two. Darren Lehman, the new batsman, back in the side today. He's recovered from a finger injury. Donald to Lehman. And that's out. Two wickets and an over for Alan Donald. Mark Batcher with the catch. Well, this delivery really is a beauty from Alan Donald. Bouncing. Moving Darren Lehman. I'm not sure how you play those. Tremendous start by Alan Donald. Two wickets in his first over. Lehman's gone for just the single. Donald to Gilchrist. It's a pleasant shot down the ground to chase the clues now. And he's not going to get that. Quick single. And that would have been out if Gary Kirsten had hit. 
Ferguson only had the one stump to aim at. Picked it up well. It was nice and close. And that's just missed by Whisker. Where's Steve Wall? Here he comes. Andy Gilchrist hasn't found it easy going in this World Cup. Came into it with a tremendous reputation. He's found it a bit of a struggle. And the third man, Alan Donald, it's his morning. He takes the catch and Gilchrist is gone. Another breakthrough for South Africa. Alan Donald didn't have to move at all for this catch. Gilchrist trying to slash over backward point. And that ball carried all the way down to third man. Alan Donald. He's been in the action this morning. Gilchrist has gone for 20. Australia now 68 for four. Michael Bevan, the new batsman for Australia. Beautiful shot. It'll be for digging the short ball in. This time Bevan's got it away. Plenty of uh, room outside that off stump. It's a good looking shot. It's going to go all the way for four. No worthy, unable to cut that off. Just a little bit too full for Cullis. Oh, Lance Clusen has had a tremendous World Cup. Only been dismissed twice with the bat, and he's picked up 17 wickets as well. And a welcome boundary for Australia. First boundary for nine overs. Manhattan's falling down. <laughs> and runs for Bevan at last. Two boundaries in the over, and the 100 up for Australia. 101 for four, 20 overs to go. Worthy to war. Fine stroke over the top, and that's going to be four. And again, tremendous stroke from Steve War. over the top to short straight hit here and just short the acceleration coming from Stephen Wall it's gone again this time it's a better hit it's going to go all the way for six Now he's got him, and this could go just short, in fact, for four. So Bevan prepared to hit over the top as well. And that's off the edge, just wide, and it's gone for four. Good effort from Cullinan. Gone after that one. It's beautifully struck. And that's his 50 for Stephen Waugh. Another valuable knock for Australia. Beautiful cover drive. Sean Pollock. Going to Waugh. Sean Pollock strikes in the 40th over. 
just fencing at that one, Stephen Waugh. And Mark Boucher takes an easy catch. Well, a pretty good over here from Sean Pollock. And he really finished it off here. Steve Waugh trying to run that ball down. Got a fine nick on it there. Through to Boucher. And he's gone foot behind. South Africa would be very happy with that. He moved him for 56. The fifth wicket down for 158. That could be very close indeed. That's out. Two wickets and one over for Sean Pollock. Just a little bit of reverse swing. Tom Moody caught on the back foot. Well, disastrous over here for Australia. The second wicket to Sean Pollock. Tom Moody on the back foot. And that's hit him right in front of middle stump. Not much trouble for the umpires there. And unfortunately, the sixth wicket down now for 158. The new batsman is Shane Warne. Klusner to Bevan on 49. An orthodox delivery, and Bevan's 50. Well, he's done well. He came in at 68 for four. Pollock to Bevan. And that's four. Fine leg was up. And the 200 up for Australia. Cronia, oh. fine catch. Deceived by the slower ball, and warm goes. Well, this is fine bowling from Sean Pollock. Great change of pace. The slower ball deceiving Shane Warren. He's gone to hoik it over the leg side. Hansi Cronia has made very good ground. Reverse hands, and Shane Warne's gone for 18. Australia lose their seventh wicket with a score on 207. Donald to rifle. First ball. Donald's third wicket. And they've really kept it tight at the end, South Africa. Well, this is the perfect delivery to a batsman. When he comes in, First up, a searing Yorker, straight underneath Paul Rifle's bat. He's gone first ball. Damien Fleming, the new batsman. Fourth wicket for Alan Donald. What bowling at the end of the innings. Well, this is great delivery, again from Alan Donald. He's wide on the crease. Moving away slightly from Damien Fleming, hitting the top of off stump. The Rocket Man's delighted. And it's all over. Bevan goes. And another wicket to Sean Pollock. Five for him. 213 all out. Bevan out for 65. Well, it looked a reasonably comfortable target for South Africa. Michael Bevan and Steve Waugh put on 90 for the fifth wicket, but five batsmen failing to score, including Mark Waugh. Useful 18 runs from Shane Warne. South Africa performing well in the field. Sean Pollock, five for 36 after taking just four wickets in the whole tournament so far. And Alan Donald, who knows Edgbaston so well for Warwickshire, took four for 32. Jacques Callis chipping in with the important wicket of Adam Gilchrist. But the target for South Africa, 214, their first World Cup final, looking well within reach, but Australia had never been beaten in a World Cup semi. First over, South Africa won without loss. It's McGrath bowling to Herschel Gibbs. Wide of Mark Wall, and away to the boundary. Taking a bit of a risk, but he got away with it. Fleming to Gibbs. Lovely shot. Four to Gibbs. Oh, that's a fine shot. Another boundary to Gibbs.
around the wicket to Kirsten. Chase for Lehman. He won't get there. And South Africa just picking these runs off. Rifle to Gibbs. Well, he's in really good form, Herschel Gibbs. His fourth boundary. He didn't even move. Just blocks us well and races back down the pitch for four. He finds the gap again. To chase for Bevan. Has to give it up. And that's his fifth boundary. He's playing so well. Well, Herschel Gibbs may feel he's got a bit of making up to do after dropping Steve Wall on Sunday. And he's played really well so far. Shane Warne being introduced from the city end. Oh, he's bowling. What an absolutely brilliant delivery. And look at Shane Warne. Well, this really is a tremendous delivery. Pitching outside leg and hitting the top of off. That's the old one that uh, Mike Gadding succumbed to at Old Trafford. We've seen it before. It's good enough for Gibbs. He's gone for 30. So if they lose their first wicket, 48 for one. See if this drifts in, the, the Gatting delivery actually drifted down the leg side to make it even more unplayable. In fact, that did land short of the rough. It didn't spin out of the bowler's rough. And it's neatly turned away by Kirsten. Bevins the fielder, and they'll get the throw. So 50 up for South Africa in the 14th over, having lost just one wicket. Kirsten, who's gone for 18. Gary Kirsten here looking for the gap over deep mid-wicket. There's no one back on the boundary. And that ball's pitched and turned viciously back in at him. Great bowling from Shane Warne. Kirsten's gone for 18. So Africa's captain, Hansa Cronier. Australia's way. Three wickets now in eight balls without conceding a run. Well, this ball was very full. Hansi Cronier thinks he might have hit it and into the ground. It's actually hit him on the toe. Whether there was any bat in it, we'll have to have another look. A look of disbelief on his face. He's gone second ball for naught. South Africa lose their third wicket with a score at 53. Jacques Callas at number five. Was it off the toe <coughs> or was it off the edge of the bat? It's like toe to me. I mean to Callas. Yeah. the bit very close indeed. And that's the old direct hit. The Australians are absolutely delighted. Cullinan thinks he's gone, he's walking off. Very slow at the traps, Daryl Cullinan. And it's got to be a direct hit, and that's exactly what happens. And he is out by a good metre. And that is just what Australia wanted. So that's the fourth wicket down now for 61. Jonty Rhodes, the new batsman. Ooh. 
And that's a full toss. And again, he's going to have to hurry. Oh. Just missing the stumps. There's all action here. Tom Moody just missing the stumps. Shane worn off. Tom Moody on. Lovely shot from Callis. Pressure slightly relieved with Warren going off for the Callis. Fleming's dive, straight and well timed. Moody to Rhodes. Ponting. Oh! And Callis had a little bit of luck there. He would have been struggling, I think, if it had hit. He thinks so. And the hundred is up for South Africa. Room for a tense finish here. And as the ball passes the stumps, he's a good foot and a half short. Moody to Rhodes. And there he's hooked this one away. This could be all the way. Just short. Jinty Rhodes going the aerial route. Water Rhodes. Oh. Oh, and that's beautifully cut away. Gave himself a bit of room there, Dante Rhodes. It might go all the way. It's going to be a very, very interesting contest. Well fielded. Beautifully done by Michael Bevan. Tom Moody in attendance to clean up. But the chase there from Bevan saved a run. And he's nicked that one. And it's going to be for Bevan's in hot pursuit. Won't pull it in. A lucky fall for Jacques Cullis. That says it all on Mark War's face. Rifle to Rhodes. And that's beautifully struck. Can't cut it off Fleming, so it's a fall for Jonty Rhodes. A very welcome one for South Africa. He's gone over the top. Could be a big one. It is. It's right over the top. Full toss. Jonty Rhodes selecting his spot. Wilder McGrath. And it's over the top for six. And he's gone again. This is in the air. And out. Well caught by Bevan. Australians are delighted. That was the wicket they wanted. These two have put on a really good partnership of 84. But now Rhodes is out. Well, it's actually Jonty Rhodes' strength. Anything short and on, on his legs. He can hoist away for six, but he hasn't got hold of it. Michael Bevan delighted with that catch. Rhodes has gone for 43. So now they've lost their fifth wicket and have scored 145. New man in, Sean Pollock. Dan McGrath's back. Mm. Up in the air, but he's going to get away with it. He couldn't time it. Then he does the fielding. So Pollock is off the mark with a sketchy stroke. Single, leading the fielding. He thinks it might have been close if he'd hit. And the 150 up for South Africa. Ball to Callis. I think about the single. Callis just gets back. Mark Wall, the fielder. Good over though. Thank 
Callis just opening the face of the bat, trying to get a single out on the offside. Pollock sends him back. Callis on 49. Here's McGrath. <laughs> Only one, but that's enough to bring him 50. His fourth of the tournament and his third in a row. Warm to Callis. Down the ground and dropped. Rifle. They come back for two. They'll think of three. And they get it. Well, this should have been a single at best. Down the long off. Jack Callis done in the flight. Just pops it up. Rifle came in. He went for the catch. And he dropped it. Pollock, down the ground for six. Well, that's the shot of the day for me. Sean Pollock taking on the long boundary towards the city end. So tight for so long, and now South Africa got after him. Could be out. Yes! Is Steve Wall with the catch, and Callis is gone. Warren claws it back. Well, you have to give the bowler a lot of credit here. He's pitched it up, he's got it to turn viciously. Steve Waugh takes a simple catch, and that's bad news indeed for South Africa. Callis has gone for 53. And a six down for 175. Lance Kluge has been the player of the tournament, and South Africa need a little bit more from him to reach the final. Fleming around the wicket to Kluzner. And what a stroke for four. That's his second ball. And, to and he's got him. Well, what a game this is. It goes one way and then the other. Sean Pollock's giving himself too much room here. Exposing his stumps. In the end, the bats had to come down at an angle. That's got the inside edge. And that's a very happy Damien Fleming. Pollock's gone. Quick fire, 20 or 14 balls. South Africa in trouble, 183 for seven. New batsman is Mark Boucher. Fleming around the wicket to Kluzner. He's gone for it. And he's going to get away with it. He's going to get four. Didn't quite time it. Last ball of the over, Fleming to Kluzner. That's high in the air, Moody's underneath it. Doesn't quite make it. At least he stopped it. That's the best you can say. Two runs. Just when you need him, Glenn McGrath produces. Boucher goes. Well, this is fine bowling from Glenn McGrath, right up in the block hole. A little bit of reverse swing. Middle stump, out of the ground. Mark Boucher, five off ten balls, he'll be disappointed with that. We've got a feel for the young man. South Africa now 196 for eight. Steve Elworthy, the new batsman. The best of times to come in. But a good time to be a hero. Yes, go on. And he's done his job. He's got Klusner on strike.
Well, you feel something's got to give. McGrath to Kluznak. They'll look for two. Oh, where he comes back, he's struggling. That could be out. The third umpire will have a look. Does the ball hit the stumps? It does, it just deflects off his hand onto the stump. It is red, he's gone. Alan Donald, the new batsman. He's not facing at the moment, though. McGrath to Kluznak. Paul Rifle, dropped it. That could be six. We'll wait for the umpire's verdict. Well, how much drama can you get in an over? Boucher bowled. Elworthy run out by this man, Rifle's throw. And now, Paul Rifle has let that go through his hands. I think it's carried over the boundary for six. Last over, nine to win, Fleming to Kluzner. That's a tremendous stroke for four. What power. What a player, what a World Cup he's having. Tremendous blow again, and that's four more. What a stroke from Kluzner. What can you say about it? Bob Warner watching on. Hansi Kronje, head in hands. One run now needed for victory. Four balls remaining. And a tie will send Australia to the final. So South Africa do need this run. Not off that ball. Nearly run out. Darren Lehman with the throw. Donald was backing up too far, looking for the single. He's just backed up too far, and Lehman has missed from no more than six yards away. They go for it. And Donald's run out, and Australia are in the final. The match has been tied. What a mix-up. Well, the Australian players, they probably can't even believe their own good fortune. South Africa lost their nerve when it really mattered. And here it is, right up in the block hole. Kluzner dug it out, he called quickly. I think Donald was right, there wasn't a single there. He drops his bat, and he has to go in the end. Gilchrist removes the bails, and Australia are in the World Cup final yet again. Amazing climax to one of the greatest World Cup matches ever. South Africa were in control at 48 without loss, then struggling at 61 for four. Callis and Rhodes got things back. Then the heroics of Lance Klusner, followed by that heartbreaking run out that produced a tie and Australia going through by virtue of their superior position in the Super Six. Astonishing Australian bowling to go with it. McGrath and Fleming, expensive, but Shane Warne, much criticised in this World Cup. Four for 29, including a spell of three for none in eight balls. It deservedly won him the Man of the Match award, but there were so many other contenders. Match tied, but Australia into Sunday's final with Pakistan, their fourth World Cup final. But what a desperate experience for South Africa. Hansi, that must be a heartbreaker. Yeah, it's a cruel game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there must have been so many times when you thought you had the game won. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, Jonty and uh, Jack gave us a real chance. We got back into it, and uh, unfortunately, things didn't run our way towards the end. But, um, you know, it's, it's as close as you can get, I suppose. Yeah. And, I mean, after getting away to the start that you did, uh, you know, chasing a small total, you must have thought then it was pretty comfortable. Yeah, you always need two partnerships when you're chasing a reasonably small score. And, uh, 48 for the first wicket, uh, we were looking good. Yeah. I guess you haven't had a chance to discuss the mix-up at the end, but uh, that, that must have been heartbreaking for Lance Kluzner as well. Yeah, things happen. Yeah, yeah. Steve, how's the heart going, mate? 
Oh, I thought last game was unbelievable. That's that's the best game of cricket I've ever played. Don't you two teams know how to play an easy game? I mean, you've got to feel sorry for South Africa. They uh, they gave it their all, desperate and unlucky, but uh, you know, I'm really glad we got through to the final. What sort of conversations were going on in that last over? Can you remember them? Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of chat that uh, in that situation, you just got to hold your nerve. And uh, yeah, fortunately for us, we, we I think we just held out in the end. I mean, magnificent hitting again from Flusner, but uh, the run out, I guess, was crucial. We went 10 pin bowling last week, and it's come good for us. <laughs> And you make an interesting point there about holding your nerve. I mean, there was some magnificent fielding in the outfield, which probably uh, helped you get through as well. Yeah, we had opportunities that let's slip through our hands. We would have been very disappointed to lose. We probably missed six chances there, which is not good enough in that situation. But we really dug deep, and, uh, you know, we love playing for Australia, and we showed it today. You know, the South Africans, they play a hard game of cricket, and there's not much between the two teams. We've, you know, the last two games have been just sensational games, and... Uh, Hopefully I can keep bowling like I am and we can keep playing the way we are and hopefully we can win the World Cup.